On the drums, John Wazorik. Playing the sax, Joseph Yoon. Tim Blunk on the guitar. And David Rothenberg on the clarinet. These musicians came to Princeton to play with the real star of the show. It's very humbling. A rare singer that only performs once every 17 years for a few weeks. Insects, not everyone thinks that they're musical, but listen to what's actually going on here. That sound is made by millions of cicadas. They all make this sound. They go pharaoh, pharaoh. And if you make millions of them, you get this drone. And the idea of a drone is very important in music all over the world. And so we're kind of playing along with this drone. The NJIT professor of philosophy and music started playing with birds nearly two decades ago, then whales, then insects. He says he saw something that could be done that hadn't been done before. He's played with cicadas in the past, but this is his first show with Brood 10. They make this wash of sound in waves. They go shh. Kind of like the sound of cymbals. And there's a third one, magic cicada, septum decula, and they go ch -ch 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 very percussive and they synchronize like that. So these three kinds of musicians are singing all at once, but there's millions of them, literally. What do you say to people who might think this is, might be a bit crazy? Uh, I won't disagree with them. <laughs> well, David's kind of a version of the nutty professor in my world. Um, and, uh, you know, he's not wrong when he says that we're really just playing against the drone. This particular species that he says does the pharaoh sound that when you get so many of them together, it sounds, you know, it's almost... You know, it's that, it's that kind of constant... Oh, I like this. Oh. If we're going to sound like cicadas, that's a pretty close. One of my favorite things these days is to, is to listen to other people do this, especially to do it for the first time. What happens when someone who's never thought insects might be musical to start considering that idea? You can see these, these rattles on here. There's some speculation with these instruments that they actually add the rattles to them to imitate the insect. Periodical cicadas have life cycles of 13 or 17 years burrowed in soil, feeding on the roots in the ground. Tim Blunk says when he's around the insects, it reminds him of the 13 years he did in prison. The Bergen Community College art professor says when you're in prison, your life has disappeared from public view, but you're still alive. Then he says you reemerge a different person after being away from society for so long. I discovered this a number of years ago. This is every 17 years. I was telling my son on the way, way down, I said the next time I'll be 81. <laughs> so I'm not sure I might, I might not make it for the next one. So I want to make sure I catch this one. Technology also plays a role during this live recording session. When I sent it to the people who designed it, they said, yeah, you're really on something here. Does this isolate the sounds of cicadas? This one is interesting because it picks up sound from far away. Cicadas thought they'd only come out of the ground to mate. Little did they know they'd have a band playing alongside them, recording their voices. Let's hope they find the agent who represented the Beatles. They should live life to the fullest because they're only here for two, three That's weeks. Right. Yeah, I have a t-shirt that says, sing, fly, mate, die, the motto of cicada life. At the Billy Johnson Mountain Lakes Nature Preserve, for NJ Spotlight News, I'm Leia Mishkin.